Hello there, Tomatronic here, and welcome back to episode number nine of A Jedi's Tale. Now, wow, what an exciting day it was yesterday for the gang. Um, two pretty difficult raids, the first being much tougher than the second, but still, the second coming at probably the worst time it could possibly come, with us all being very injured already from the initial attack. Um, but we won, as we always do. Touch wood. There's plenty of wood lying around for us to touch. Actually, there isn't any wood lying us around for uh, lying us lying around for us to touch. I need to get somebody to start cutting some wood. But for now, everybody's sleeping. I'm going to speed it up a little bit just until they wake up. I'm not sure any of them are super keen to get up early today, purely because of the stress that yesterday must have caused. I just noticed that Olaf here is sleeping without a bed, which means I need to build another bedroom, but that's okay, I can build one on this side. I'm not too concerned about symmetry. And I can build another room there, that's fine. I'll uh, put a wooden door. Give him a bed. Dresser, and the shelf, put some wooden floor down, and give him a light as well. So hopefully we can get that built today. I don't want anybody sleeping out. Um, I don't want anybody sleeping without a bed, particularly. Um, it can affect their mood quite badly. In terms of the prisoners. The only new, the only addition, the only change really is Sky being added. The only person we were able to capture from the last attacks. Um, everybody's awake now by the looks of it, apart from Tank, Cook and Lady. Lady, unfortunately, we rescued her and she was sleeping off her injuries when the first attack came. And she got pretty clobbered again. Nobody's really had a chance to even say hello to her really yet. And Cook now has a medical emergency. Damn, how ironic would it be? Cook died from a meal he cooked. I don't even want to think about that possibility right now. I'm hoping he will pull through. I think we've been through worse things than food poisoning. Um, but you never know, this game does have a tendency to make things slightly unfair at times. Now fix it, instead of doing that, although I really appreciate you building that outer wall there, I'd much prefer you to chop down some trees. The sooner I get some wood, the sooner I can build Olaf a bedroom. Okay, so Sky is now healed. Good. It means we can start to. I don't know if I already did this. Yeah, start to reduce the resistance there. Uh, maybe recruit. Still need to get this other stove built as well. I'm going to get Fix It to prioritize that now. Hopefully, when Tank starts to feel better. She can get back to building, which she's pretty good at. She's obviously been picking up the slack on the cooking side of things, but now we've just got two brand new, fully qualified chefs in our ranks. Olaf and the other one was Velasquez, I think. Yeah. There's actually the best cook we have, if I'm not mistaken. You know, it's the same as cook. Both equally skilled, but I think Cook is going to be out of action for a while. At least he's now recovering from that food poisoning and it's not getting any worse, I hope. Also extreme blood loss, wow. I wonder if that's because of the infection or something else. Interesting. Myra and Brian side by side at the research stations as usual. Uh, until Doc had to leave to tend to Lady. 
Velasquez is a major break risk right now. Let's just find out why. Not happy with the lack of recreation. Well, I'm sorry about that. I will try to fix that soon. Tainted uniform pants. Well, okay. I can see your point. And yeah, I mean... Velasquez isn't as strong-willed as the rest of us. We have some rare thrumbos. And who are these people? Did not get a notification about that, and if I did, I completely missed it. No, didn't think I had. These are tax inspectors. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep paying their tax. Let me see, what are they, the Galactic, the Galactic Empire, let me see how I fare with them right now, they're on neutral, plus 11, and they're enemies with all my enemies, so, like it or not, I think for now, we're going to have to pay their taxes, and you know, I mean, at some point I'm going to have to stop paying because purely out of dignity, I think it's, you know, I've got to, we've got to stand on our own eventually and stop. They know they don't provide anything for us. We're not getting anything for their, for their taxes. Nothing except a, an empty feeling in our stomachs as they arrive each time. So Cook's food poisoning is gone at least. The irony has faded, and uh, now just extreme blood loss, which is nothing to laugh about. Um, hopefully, we'll pull through. We've finally got some limestone flagstones going down here, which should speed things up, although it's been a very slow process. Olaf really needs some treatment. I'm going to get fix it to wake up early, although I know he's only, she's only really just gone to bed, but really need to get this room built for Olaf so he can rest. So fix it. Giving up on the building already. I'm not sure if I want to push it too much. Um, I need to try and keep their moods high and if I start pushing them and overworking them then they'll start to get a bit annoyed with me. <clears throat> I need to adjust Olaf's daily regime here. Now that we know he's sticking around, he should follow the same rules as everybody else. Okay, we have an eclipse. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun and an eclipse has begun. It's fine because we don't have any solar power right now. The only thing it does mean is that our crops won't grow, but for some reason, Fingers has been slacking a bit on planting these crops. Hmm. Don't like being disobeyed, fingers, but I suppose I have to trust your instincts. If you think you need to eat right now, just after I give you a command, then you go ahead, that's fine. I will fix the same thing on here. Simple meals forever and fine meals forever. And the fine meals go ahead. So if we have the resources, they will cook them, and if not, they will cook a simple meal. The three stoves now should mean that our three cooks uh, can produce enough food to keep us going. Why is Cook now? Severe blood loss still. I'm going to try Heal Cell to see if that does anything. Don't think it did. Lady is starving, so she's getting up to eat. Passing a few of the crew in the corridor, but still not having a real opportunity to sit down and talk to anybody. She feels pretty isolated. She's quite low. She's still in a lot of pain. And, you know, she slept in the cold. How did she sleep in the cold? 16 degrees in there. 
Maybe I need to build some heaters. Um, because although the air conditioning units keep it at a constant temperature, generally, as it's September, the temperature outside is 21 degrees. Why is it so cold indoors? That's bizarre. 21, 21, 21. I don't understand why it's 19 degrees indoors and 23 degrees outdoors. It's bizarre. But, well, I suppose I can put the aircon units up instead of building the heaters. I don't think we really need heaters right now. Let's try bumping this up to 26, and this one, and this one. See if it makes a difference to the room temperature here. Indoor, no, no, it's 22, can I believe it? 23, that's, no, that's too high now. Could it be because it was night time? Oh, because of the eclipse maybe? Hmm, interesting. I do want it to be 21. Uh oh. Power outage. Okay. I don't have any more chem fuel, which could be an issue. Um, I need to research it to be able to make it. I don't have any wood, damn it. Alright. This could be a real problem. We run out of power and our food starts to rot, then that's not good at all. It's going to get fixed to cut a lot more trees down now. Who's idle? Velasquez, why? Uh, because there's not enough power in your stove. Okay, fair enough. Velasquez is pissed off, I think. Nothing to do. Getting bored. Battery research is taking time. But there's nothing much we can do. We just have to wait it out. Could build another research bench, but I really don't want to put three people on that. We got through the, the tough one at the beginning, which was electricity. And I think we can get through the rest quite easily if we're patient. And we've got patience. The whole crew knows the only way to get anywhere is to be patient and to think about what they're doing carefully before they do it. And that's all, all good, all well and good when the opportunity presents itself. But there have been several times recently where they've had to think on their feet and boss has had to make some pretty tough decisions, like rescuing lady. And leading the and leading the others during the raids that came after that. Okay, so we've got some wood now, uh, which means I should be able to refuel that. Can't refuel that because I don't have any chem fuel. I'm just going to quickly check the wildlife. See these bo ah boom. Okay, nice. I need to tame these big ones. And they actually produce chem fuel by themselves. They kind of shit it out. So if I can get a big gang of those tamed, then it means I'll be able to start increasing the power in the base without using any wood. I've only got one person on Doctor. Why? Put Boss on there as well. That's a so through all of those raids I only had one Doctor. No wonder everybody took so long to heal. But everybody is healed now, more or less. Olaf's missing a lung and a right leg, but seems to be unaffected in many ways by that. Seems to be walking around like a normal person. Sleeping now outside because his room's still not finished, but Tank is working on that now that she's better. Velasquez is stoned on smoke leaf. Um okay. I guess. At the end of the day, when you finish your tasks, there's not much wrong with that. Although, some of the other group members think that 
If they're working, maybe Velasquez should be working. So she heads back to the stove, having noticed the stern looks on the face of the others. She's still high, but doing what she enjoys, cooking away. And our meal number is rising, which is great. As I said many times, I'd like to get that above 100. It would make me feel very comfortable. Um, all of this food is frozen, so it's not going to deteriorate. And if we start getting a big stockpile, then it's going to make us all feel a, a lot more comfortable, I think. Lady's up now, going about her daily tasks. She was just cleaning a minute ago, which is what, what I want her to do to begin with. There's a lot of grime and blood all over the base, and it doesn't bother some people, but it does bother others. And I'd really like to get it cleaned up as soon as possible. Anatoly, male Labrador. Haven't paid much attention to the pets so far, I must admit. There's a few that stick out. York's been around a while. We've had a few run-ins and a few adventures together. And I'm sure there's another one called Mary or... Let's have a look. Hillary. And Juliet. So I do recognise some of their names. Marigold, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, okay. I'll try and pay more attention to the pets. This thing is impossible to tame and to hunt. No, hunting, sorry, would be okay, but to tame them I think would be difficult. I think I might put it to hunt. They have a 100% chance of fighting back though. But I think we can take it. I think we'll get it at range. Now, uh, where were those boomalopes? There, okay, so. Tank and fix it, both just tried to go and tame them. That's what I was going to look at a minute ago. Handling, training animals, taming animals. Okay, so we've got three on that, which is fine. Lady's pretty good at recruiting. Maybe I should put her on that as well, just as well as cleaning. Just to give her another job to do, so she doesn't feel like she's being abused. Just as the cleaner the whole time. Our perimeter wall, at least the part we've built, is almost done. That's going to be a great help. What I want to do next is get some gun complexes going. So, so I'm going to build one here next to the sandbags. I'm going to build another one up here maybe there. For now I think that's enough because they're really expensive in resources. I could do with another. I haven't had any attacks from this top left corner so I've got a feeling that could be the next one. So I'm just going to stick another one here. And I've placed those strategically so if people come around here the gun will be in range. I've still got space for my uh, for my four sensitives to line up, backed by the the average humans we've got amongst us now. And here, once these sandbags are up, I'll be able to use this to defend from this side and this side. And the gun will... Oh, maybe I should have built it a bit closer, actually. That's okay. Get rid of it. And put a new one. I think I'll put it there. So we've got the wall protecting it from this side and then it can still shoot over the sandbags, hopefully. Haven't got any gun here, but nobody can come in from this side. And if they do, we've got this gun, hopefully, which we'll be able to take it out from here. They're probably going to take a while to build and we, it could make us run out of steel. There's some compacted steel here that I'd like to get mining. I haven't seen much mining going on recently. Could get tank to go and prioritize that for a while. Okay, so Gray, chief of the matcher of the Priory, has sent us a message. He wants to talk to us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with a faction and receive gifts, but beware. A poor negotiator can cause more harm than good, and may even anger them. To be really honest, I'm not that interested, but I'm going to take a look at where it is. 
They've given us a real hard time in the past. And although we are peaceful people, we don't know what they're willing to negotiate with, or it could be an ambush, we just don't know. Brian isn't prepared to take that risk, at least today. The offer expires in 24 days, so we've got time to think about it at least. Olaf's feeling pretty down. Ravenously hungry. We're going to eat, fool. Okay, he's eating now. Um, yeah, I mean, until his room gets finished, which it almost is, he can have a bed now. Um, Olaf. Okay, so at least he's got a bed. I'm going to take Hunt off that. I think that was a bad idea. Um, I'm just going to make sure... At least tonight, if the room's not finished, at least he's got a roof over his head. Lady cleaning out the prisoner's cells there. It's going to take a while. There's a lot of blood. I might make her prioritise our rooms first. She's got a kind heart. She sees that the prisoners are not exactly happy. And she's, you know, she's trying to cheer them up. 26. Hmm. Still. Okay, so, Shu might well be recruitable very soon. A very good miner and good with animals. Not a bad fighter. Sky, quite new to us. And yeah, still quite a high resistance uh, remaining there. So Tank finishing off the room on Olaf's room. Finishing off the roof on Olaf's room. Although I thought I asked her to go and mine, but maybe she did for a while and then gave up. I'm not sure. Let's check everybody's got a weapon. Because, yeah, as I thought, a lot of people dropped their guns when they got injured in the last fight. So I'll make Cook pick up that. Fingers has got one. Tank, pick up that lightsaber there. I don't know what happens to the the old crystal that you had. I'm very much hoping that you don't lose the crystal if you drop the lightsaber. I'm not sure about that. Because I only see three crystals now. None of the ones we used already. Regardless, I will go and pick one up. And equip it. The blue one this time, the light blue one. It's tank done. Doc has a gun, Fix it has a gun, Olaf, Lady doesn't have a gun, so we could give her a blaster carbine, or yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, great. The I was just about to say I'm going to build another storage room for weapons only very soon, but first uh, the battery research is finished, which is great. The next research I want to do is smithing. I need to get these gun turrets going. Ah, oh, but I need biofuel. Ah, oh, maybe not if I can... See, if I can tame those, those uh, what are they called, boomalopes, then I can start producing chem fuel from, from them instead of having to research this. Solar panels would be good. I mean, they're all going to be good eventually, but... Smithing, I think, right now is the one we need. Um, I am going to build a room for weapon storage. Considering this area, I'm going to build... Yeah, doesn't need to be too... I don't know. Not, not sure. I could build it up here. I really want to start mining this away now. So before I forget, I'm just going to... Do that to remind myself. And I'm going to essentially be building a base under a mountain, which is great for protection. And for the time being, I'm going to use this bit of wall here and build a small room to store some weapons. So, I mean, a lot of the weapons are stored on the shelves in their rooms, which is fine, but maybe that's where the lightsabers are, with crystals. 
doesn't actually say, does it? Lightsaber, lightsaber. I will change this to just weapons. And they should start hauling all of the weapons into there. It just makes them easy to find um, and easier to know where to send people when you need them quickly. Did I manage to train any of those boomalopes yet? No. Nope. Just check the wildlife. Yeah, I've got them all to tame. The boom rats don't produce the chem fuel. And I'm not sure if they grow up into boomalopes later on or not. I always assume they did, but I could be wrong. So, late afternoon, early evening, lady's gone to bed early. Still pretty tired from the whole ordeal she had to run away from. Um, Doc's uh, leveled up here. I'm going to give her another force pool point. Ooh, another two. Ooh, ooh. That then. Wow. Okay, so Doc is super leveled up right now. And not matching the armor set that I said. I said I'd keep her grey, but I, 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 there's nothing else I can do with the Doctor. I also said that, you know, I'd do what was best for the character and not, you know, that, I mean, they ran away from the Jedi, Sith, and the, the dark side and the light side and the grey. They, they'd rather not associate with either side or, or in the middle. They're their own people and they have their flaws and their strengths. I mean, the only dark side powers I've given out are to boss because force lightning is frankly just fun and I haven't actually used it yet. I will remember to do that in the next fight. I think I gave one more out as well. Maybe not. Anybody else leveled up? Yes, okay, fix it. Hmm, see another one that should be grey, but well, I guess it's okay. I can give force push, force pull, force speed. Hmm, or force pull maybe. I think it's good to have at least two on here. It means that you can use both powers easily and not have to wait too long for a recharge on one of them. Um, I'm going to build some batteries now. And the way I want this to work is that all of my power generation goes into the batteries before it goes out into the, into the settlement. So I'm going to build four of them here. And I'm going to take a feed from there in and a feed from there out. And once that's built, I will delete, I will dismantle this here um, and this here. And I will join. Wait, 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 wait. So power comes in. Yeah. So I need that to go up to there as well. Okay, um, and I need to re reroute the power coming in from this as well, but for now I'm not too concerned about that. Let's go and see what this bulk trade, bulk goods trader wants. Send boss over to have a little chat with Reichguard. Maybe they have something interesting to sell. Well, I thought Boss was alright. What's wrong with him? Anyway, so they're wanting to buy animals. Um, I'm not sure that I really want to sell any animals right now. They have some drone dairy, which are like camels, which are pretty useful for forming caravans and for long journeys, but they're not cheap. And right now, I don't think I really need them. 11 chocolate, yes, I will take that. Human meat, eh? Interesting, so... 
We know what kind of people these people are. And Brian is starting to think maybe he doesn't want them hanging around too long if they've got human meat for sale. Chem fuel. They've got a lot of it. I am going to see... Okay, it's pretty cheap too. Wow, okay. I could get... Let's try 100. Let's try 200. Okay, 600 silver. That's quite a lot. And how much would it be with all the... Oof, components are expensive, but I really need them. Um, one thing I can sell is this mega sloth wool, which I don't really need too much. A pack of wool, more wool, more wool. I don't want that. It's not hardly worth anything though, that's the problem. Um, camel hair, I don't really want that. Mm, what else can I sell? What's blue fur? Ah yes, yeah, from the muffalos. Uh, that's worth quite a bit. Wow, that reduced it a lot. Okay, we're getting there. I don't want to pay more than 500 silver, really. Uh, they're worth a lot, those smoke leaf joints. I could sell maybe 10 of them. I can always make more. I've got a farm. Um, now, this could be a good opportunity as well to buy some armor for our new recruits. It's an advanced steel helmet. Very nice, but it's expensive. Um, interesting. I think that's okay for now. Ooh, they've got beer. Not much of it, though. What else can I sell? See, I've got these advanced components that I started with. I started with 50 of them, and they're worth a lot. And I could, you know, almost cheat now and sell a few of them and gain all this money back, but I'm not going to do that. Um... I don't think Brian would be very happy. He, he, you know, they started with those components and they obviously had a plan for them at the beginning. So I'm going to hold on to them and try and make it make a fair living instead of exploiting the game. So what else can I sell? So got a lot of insect meat that I don't really want so much. Sell 200 of that. No? Minus 200, sorry. Okay, it's down to 800. I think for now, I can take that hit. I'm just... I'm gonna be... I'd like to stay above 2,000 silver. We started with 1,500. If I can stay above 2,000, it will mean I'm still in a profit. I could sell more smoke leaf joints. All the fur has been sold. Get rid of this leather, see if it makes a difference. Okay. 16 more. And I'll be happy. Boom. Done. That's a deal, my friend. And we improved our relationship with them as well, which is great. It's one of the only factions nearby that are actually neutral or positive with us. I think they're actually neutral. What are they called again? The new Kraz Rebels. Um, yeah, plus 15 neutral, so don't know how high it needs to be before it gets to friendly, but we're well on our way to making some friends here. And you know, although they might do things that we don't necessarily agree with, such as hunting human beings. We know that we can't survive out here with all enemies surrounding us. We need to make some kind of alliances at some point. We don't have to be friends with them. We have a mutual respect right now. And they hang around till early morning while most of us sleep. Some of us are up. Lady, what is she up to? Feeding Kiko. I think she was cleaning before that. Olaf finally sleeps in his own bed. His mood should be increasing. He's hungry, but I'm 
sure he'll eat when he wakes up. So our new recruits are fully settled in now, part of our daily routine. They've shared a few laughs and a few jokes around the table. How many chairs have I got? Two, four, six, eight. I need another chair. So they can all sit and eat together, if they so choose. Put another four, just in case. Wishful thinking on my part. I do want some more recruits. I'm going to ask Lady to prioritise. Actually, I'm going to ask Lady to prioritise cleaning the kitchen. And why I haven't put a floor down in the kitchen before now, I do not know. Do I have concrete? Why is it giving me the option for concrete floors? I've got a lot of smoke leaf. Why am I not producing more of that? It sells really well. I'm gonna do that. To, I'm gonna click that to do forever. And who is our crafter? Six, five, five, six, six, ten. Fix it. Okay, fix it. What are you up to right now? Taming a boomalope. Okay, I'll wait till you finish that. And then I'm going to request, please, that you go and prioritise crafting at the craft spot. I think if we can get a good stockpile of those smoke leaf joints, then it's going to give us a good income to trade with when we get these bulk goods traders that pass by. Maybe we can get some more armour and some more weapons. And maybe some more chem fuel. Speaking of which, I'm gonna get Velasquez to refuel. Oh no, not Velasquez. Where's Olaf? What's he up to? Training Hillary. We'll stop doing that and refuel that chem fuel generator and that one after. See, we don't have any more wood again, so we're gonna be a big problem, I think. Wood soon. Cut our harvest plants. I'm never sure if. Yeah, I mean, I presume. It would be cut plant. I'm going to put tank on that as well. See, Velasquez, apart from cooking, really can't do much else. Hunting, maybe. I really need to cut some trees down, though. Maybe if I give them a bit more option. Start selecting more and more trees around the area. It doesn't really matter which ones they cut down. I just need the wood. It's taking a while to get this room built. Um, and any of our guns built yet? This one has had its materials delivered apart from the components. I wonder whether... No, I do have components left. Good. Um, and the other guns? That one hasn't been touched yet. And... Same with that one. I would like to get those built quite quickly. And these batteries take components too. Um, as soon as I get this research done, if I'm not mistaken, it means that I can start making components. I could be mistaken. Hmm. I remember it's, uh, I think it's a machining table or, I'm not sure, I can't remember, so yeah, I need to start getting, I need to be able to make components pretty soon, they're really important for later on. My food levels, my meal levels are almost at the level that I've been looking to get to. I said if there were 100 plus on meals then I would be happy. And it's really down to the three chefs that we've got working at the moment. Okay, so... All calm, really, this episode so far. Nothing major going on. No difficult confrontations. We've got uh, an offer to go and have peace, make peace with the, the matcher of the Priory. As I said at the time, Brian's not interested in that right now. He's still a bit sore from 
you know, the attempted raids they, they made on us. And do we have any of their people? I don't think we do. No, we've got a blade crab. And the other three are ash lancers. But anyway, another busy day. Lady's done a good job to start cleaning up the, the rooms and the base. Although she started on the prisoners' quarters, which was quite annoying for some of the other team members. I really need some wood. I'm going to force fix it to stay up and cut some trees. Because as soon as our power drops, we're going to start losing temperature control. And our food will start to decompose, which is not good. So I'm just going to force fix it to do, to do some extra work here. It's fine, I'll let her sleep um, during the day if she wants to. But I really need to get some wood prepared for when other people wake up and they can start refueling these generators. Lady, for example, just started hauling some wood. Up at the crack of dawn, lady. 4am, wow. Really trying to, you know, these new recruits are going a long way to try and prove themselves. Lady's spirits are the highest of anybody. She's super happy. Been being rescued from probably a horrible life. She's still not happy with the environment as she has ridiculously high expectations. And for some reason she decided to eat without a table and it made her mood bad. She's not happy with her clothes, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers as they say. One more tree fix it please and then I'm going to get you to refuel these. It's important that we keep these generators going. Three batteries built now um, but the power conduit around them is not finished so they're not actually collecting any power. I would like to get to a stage where I can get rid of the wood generators and purely survive on solar and wind. Um, now the wind generator seems to be actually kicking out some serious power today. Good. But it is blocked by one tree. Which tree is that? That one. Um, I'll get fix it to go and chop that down quickly just to get it out of the way. Um, eventually I'm going to hook that up to the batteries as well but for now it's fine there. It's all in the same grid anyway. Eighteen degrees indoors again. Not sure what's going on here with these temperatures in these rooms. Not sure why it's colder inside than it is outside. I've never experienced that before in this game. Plant some roses in their rooms, why not? might make them feel a bit different but change is always good especially when it comes to flowers these two rooms don't have flower pots for some reason so I'm just gonna add those in quickly I've got I've got enough cloth now I've got enough cloth now to build these meditation pads so I might put one of each in the, the common room just so that if anybody feels like sitting down to meditate, maybe it helps increase their force powers, I'm not entirely sure. Boss has leveled up again. This time, I am going to give... I could increase the speed. I don't know if I can do... Hmm, let me think. I could do force choke, which is also fun. Or heal other, which is good. Force defense is really good as well. I might do that for boss. He's turning out to be more of a ranged kind of fighter anyway. But it's good to have a shield. Force ghost is great as well. I'm going to go for force defense. No. Yeah, force defense for now. Okay. Cook. I am going to give another pool point fingers 
Originally trained with lightsabers. Hmm. I think I'm going to give another point to Peel Other. Because Fingers has got some medical skill, actually pretty high. And and maybe he's starting to feel more like a field medic than than a stay-at-home doctor. And he could start healing people out as we're fighting on the perimeter or maybe when we venture beyond the settlement again. We've only really left the settlement once and that was to rescue Lady. And it was a very quick in and out mission, we didn't hang around. We were ambushed by a few snakes but made short work of them. And anybody else leveled up? Not for now. Okay, just let them get on with it. Let's check the prisoners. Okay. So Shu now could be recruited quite easily. None of the others yet. Check Shu's bio again. She's a she's a good miner, okay. And good with animals, which is great, because I might be able to use her to recruit these boomalopes. Which I Still haven't been recruited, look. I don't know about any of them. Don't think, anyway, no. So, yeah. We managed to get Shu to join. Fantastic. So that brings us up to 10. We've got 6 4 sensitives that we started with, and then the 4 additional. Well done, fingers, for that. Shu's going to want a room, so I will start building another bedroom here. What am I going to do, you ask, when we get more recruits? Well, one option would be to delete, to remove the aircon unit here and build up, get two more on there. And the other option would just be to continue building out here and delete this door and put it around the side which is probably what I'm going to do because it's not actually built yet, that door, so I'm going to cancel it. Got a wall there, got a door there, and a door there. So I can always build another two out here. We've got the marriage spot and the caravan spot, but I can move those quite easily. It's not going to be a problem. I'm going to stick a bed in here, a wooden dresser, shelf, a light and a plant pot. So, I mean, Shu's been a prisoner of ours for so long that we kind of know a little bit about him already. He's already made friends with Fingers, Boss, Lady, and he's acquaintances with three other people in our group. Um, not on such good terms with Doc, but Doc's been frustrated the amount of time she's had to patch him up. Uh, patch her up, sorry, she was a female, after, you know, attempting to escape and fighting with the other prisoners, so, apart from Doc, most people are pretty accepting of Shu into the group. Brian's going to keep a close eye on her, at least at the beginning, because you never know, I mean, they say they're compliant and they say they want to join your cause, but Brian doesn't really trust anybody fully except the six starting four sensitives that he started with. And if you want to go even deeper than that, he doesn't really trust anybody except Tank and possibly Doc. But he really relies on his own instincts and his own intuition for most of the decisions he makes. 22 years old now. Or was he always 22? I can't remember. I think he started at 21. So, Shu is a similar age, a little bit older. Olaf, the oldest of the group, I believe. Oh no, ladies 50. So we've got two 50-ish. Velasquez is about the same age as the original characters. And Shu is, you know, slightly older, slightly wiser. I think we've got a good mix of ages and skills right now. I need to adjust Shoes daily routine here. Okay, and I'm just going to take a look at her work as well. 
Now she is already by default selected to warden, but she's no good at it. And the same with construction, so I'll remove those. Cleaning is fine, hauling is fine, mining is what you're especially good at. And you're quite good with animals, so I'll leave you on that too. I'm going to put fingers onto Doctor as well, just in case. Never know. And I'm going to take Shu off because she's really bad at it. So we've got three cooks. Four on construction, four on growing. Three on mining, although Lady is pretty good at mining. Um, but for now, I just want Lady to focus on cleaning. We've only got one on smithing, but we haven't really done any of that yet. And fix it is pretty good at it for when we need to. Plant cutting we've got four. Uh, tailoring we haven't got anybody because we're not making any clothes. Same with art, I'm not really thinking about that yet. Crafting. Now, lady's quite good at crafting. Boss is quite good at crafting. I would like to get some more smoke leaf joints stockpiled. Purely because, um, why has there no clothes been put in there? I'm sure we stripped people when we fought them. We did. So why haven't the clothes been put in there? Hmm, interesting indeed. Strip. Great. Smithing's done. Fantastic. That means we can now do machining or in the meantime, I could do microelectronics night. That'd be stupid. It's six thousand. It's good to get TVs just because it goes a long way to reducing their recreational needs. Sterile materials is also important. We can put it in the kitchen, and it really helps to improve the food quality and the cleanliness. Um. I think machining is the only way forward right now. So I'm just going to get fingers to strip some of these dead people. Don't know why it hasn't been done already. They normally do it straight away. Obviously fingers is going to be badly affected by seeing all these dead bodies, but I would like a small stockpile of clothes so that any new recruits we get don't go without clothes for too long. And the dogs have already started to haul the clothes back to the room, which is great. Oh, there's a lightsaber there, maybe that's the one tank dropped. Shu is cloud watching. Not impressed so far, Shu, but going back to the mining now, which is good. It's exactly what I wanted her to do. Really need to start cleaning out this mountainside here. We can start expanding inside here, and that would be great. Um, I can start to sort out the power now. So this power conduit here I want to demolish. No. Yeah. So those two I want to cut there. And this one I want to cut. And that will mean that and also I want to cut here. So basically I want all the power to start here, go into the batteries, and then from the batteries it can go out. So no, I don't want to delete that one at all. It's that one I want to delete. Um, lady, wow, plowing through the hills. Oh no, she was cleaning, I think, cleaning up the mess around there, where the infestation happened. Feels like a long time ago now, the infestation. All those earlier raids that seemed so intense and dangerous at the time seem to have faded in significance uh, compared to some of the more recent challenges we've faced. What's Velasquez up to? Meditating, eh? Okay, interesting. Velasquez and Lady have both got tattered clothes, but hopefully now I've stripped all those corpses, they'll be able to take their pick from some more appealing clobber. We've got our first steel gun complex here. Now, 
The only way that works is by somebody being on it. And as you can see, the range is quite good. It means that if anybody comes, breaks through the wall here or comes around here, we're going to get them. At least before they get in shooting range, I think, of these sandbags. What I might do quickly is just build... Hmm. I mean, eventually I want to build a steel wall here as well. I think that's okay for now. Could do with another gun complex around here. So what I might do is take advantage of this rock here. And put a gun here. So I can line up the guys here to shoot. Guys and girls, sorry. And the gun complex there. That one's still not built. And that one is as well. Okay, great, that's built. So yeah, you can see, as soon as they start to come around the corner here, this will start to take them out. And then the rest of them can clean up after. Lots of these sandbags are still damaged. I am going to get Fix It to prioritize those. With Fix It Asleep, I do apologize, Fix It. I keep doing that to you. You're just the best person at um, repairing and building. Fingers, I must admit, not too happy with. I'm going to take you off water now and just want you on growing. Nothing else. I really need to get some more plants grown. Our food stores are extremely low. In fact, I'm going to get you up now to sow that field. Oh no, not that one, that's smoke leaf. What do I want? I want rice, because it's fast. Which one is it? This one. Okay, but really hungry now, so I'm going to let him go and eat. Who else is on grow that I can use in the same way? Let's have a look. Olaf is able to grow too. So let's get Olaf out here now. Maybe not as a good a gardener, but... It's only thrown a few seeds in a hole, how hard can it be? The fields have already been prepped by fingers. This could take a long time doing it like this, and ideally, see like fingers is started on the smoke leaf here, but I would much prefer to do the food, the corn and the rice are way more important for me right now. And that's good, fingers is finally starting to listen to what I'm saying. Good job fingers so far, get up there and do some more. Olaf is really not happy about doing this so I'm just going to let him go. Fingers seems to be back on the case, getting a whole field done hopefully by the end of the day, at least. Fix it's leveled up, let's take a look at the force powers here. And I'm going to give another point to, no I'm not. It's too grey. Okay, I'm going to give a point to... I don't see the point in force push, really. I mean... Uh, I suppose if there was a group charging in at you and you wanted to sh shoot them at range, it would be a good way to push them back. I'll give it a try. I'll take force push. Doc leveled up again. Um... I'm going to give you yet again another pull point so you can really start to make use of your force powers though you've already leveled up quite a lot and that's it for now for that machining research well underway keep an eye on the fingers make sure he continues to sow these fields I don't want to fall too far behind with raw food and what I am going to do now to remedy that is to start hunting a bit more. These muffalo provide a lot of meat. I just need to make it a priority for somebody to do and I think I'm going to make boss do it for now. So boss anytime should now go hunting. Make sure Fingers is still doing that. 
Don't trust your fingers, I'm sorry. What have you done? You planted a bit of smoke leaf and a bit of cotton. And some rice when I forced you. But I mean, come on, dude. Now you're going to play Hoopstone? I don't think so. We're going to go back to the sun in that field. Because I've assigned such a strict schedule here, it might be unfair of me to force them to work too hard outside of that. Boss has just hunted a muffler, which is fantastic. Hopefully somebody's going to butcher that pretty quickly. It's making our food reserves go up quickly. And our meal count is, although below 80, below 100, sorry, I am confident we can get it back up and over 100 quite easily. Just takes a concerted effort from all three cooks, you know, for a solid day to work. And Marigold has given birth. Marigold is what? A husky. Awesome. The more huskies we get, the more... Um, they can rescue and haul things, which is fantastic for us. So I've got two husky puppies. Ah, I've got boomalopes now. Excellent. Where are they? Okay. I th I'm not sure now, if I remember correctly. I don't think he can do anything. I think they just shit it out of their own accord. Uh, but the more you have the better yeah milk fullness look 63 see what it says about them engineered for chemicals production the boomalope grows a large sack of volatile chemicals on its back though it is weak and fragile for its size other animals have learned to avoid it because of the huge explosion it produces when it dies it can be milked to produce chem fuel very carefully so that's good that means we sh should start having a gradual Steady supply of chem fuel coming in. Boss is doing a killer job of hunting here. He's already got two muffalo in. And he's only been out twice. Cook. Understanding what Boss is doing. Immediately taking the muffalo in and butchering them for the meat. And our food supplies are slowly starting to grow up again. Shoe's still without a bedroom. But, you know, she's understand understanding. I need to remove this and get it out of the bedrooms. And I really should put a wooden floor down in Shoe's room too. So Olaf has gone on an insulting spree um, because he's he's because he's recreation deprived. Well, what can I say, Olaf? Maybe if you did some more work like crafting some more smoke leaf joints then maybe you wouldn't be so bored is what I have to say to that right now. I think from all of our new recruits except for Shu who I can't really judge right now I think Olaf is one of the most annoying and as midnight draws near Olaf is still running around insulting people but apart from that the rest of the gang pretty much recovered from their ordeal the day before or two days before now um, being attacked so suddenly twice um, so they're both getting they're all getting their heads down now our prisoners Kiko's up and about the other two sleeping soundly and I think that's the time to call an end to this episode so thanks very much for watching um, please leave a like and subscribe and we will see the gang again in the morning all right, bye-bye.